Hi everyone, my name is Patrick. I have the best job in the world. I get to do science demonstrations. I get to do big science demonstrations with explosions and all sorts of stuff. But today, I'm really excited because I get to share with you my favorite science demonstration. You've seen one of these before? It's called a ball. And I'm gonna do something crazy with it. I'm gonna take this ball and I'm gonna place it here. This is called a hill or an inclined plane. And if I let go of this ball, I am absolutely positive that every single one of you knows what's gonna happen. I want you to think about it though. When did you first realize that this was gonna happen? Are you gonna get this right? Let's try it. Okay, watch. Okay, I'm gonna let go of the ball. What's gonna happen? How cool is that? Everybody saw that one coming? That is so good. So now, I have another ball. And guess what I'm gonna do with this ball? Oh man, I'm gonna set it down. I'm gonna let it go. And what's gonna happen? Ready? Whoa. Pretty cool, huh? You weren't wrong. It's falling down the hill. It's just doing it slowly. Really, really slowly. I call this snail ball because it's doing exactly what it should, just differently. But why? What is going on? Well, let me show you my original that we had made after lots of research. And we'll see if you can see the mechanism that makes this roll slowly down a hill. Inside here, there's a sticky fluid and a very heavy chunk of metal. The thick fluid, as this turns, is thick enough to lift the heavy metal object and it stays on the uphill side of this cylinder. It has to sink back through the viscous fluid until it's on that side of the hill and then, we'll watch right now, there it goes. And then it will roll, but as it does that, the fluid picks it up again, it sinks through again, and this continues all the way to the bottom of the hill. Pretty spectacular. So I showed this to a mathematician friend of mine, and he actually said, do you really need to do that? All you really need is some glucose syrup in a little plastic jar and stack, stick something metal in it. Is it gonna work? The math was correct. The mathematician was correct. And now we have something that's a lot easier to do and you can do it home. I just stuck something heavy in there and it's doing the same thing. The glucose syrup picks up the heavy object, the heavy object sinks through until it's past the pivot point and it rolls down the hill slowly. So my mathematician friend then gave me another call and said, actually, I don't think you need the heavy weight. You should just be able to pour some of the glucose syrup out and it should do the same thing. And I thought, no way, come on. So shall we try it? Ready? Is it gonna work? Of course it's gonna work. Mathematicians are usually right. But what's the reason now? Well, actually the syrup is so thick that it actually can lift itself up. It sticks to the side of the jar. And what happens is as it oozes down past the pivot point, it rolls, but then it sticks together to itself and holds itself on that side. So again, it's just distributing the mass back and forth past the pivot point. Pretty cool. I also found everywhere, snail, snail tube, another snail cylinder. Check it out. This is just a test tube full of slime. This is one of those office toys. But look, it works. Feel free to leave a comment. Feel free to let me know if you were whelmed, overwhelmed, or underwhelmed. And if you can think of another way to make something roll down a hill or move in a way that we don't expect, please let me know in the comments below. Go! Go, yes. Oh man, it's catching you. It's gonna catch you. Go! Ah, oh, time flies. <laughs>